back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today on this Friday? I hope you're doing good and I hope you had a great day and I hope you have a great weekend. But anyway, we're going to react to some Tank Bank and it's called Fear of Needles Animated Story. And I can honestly tell you I do not have Fear of Needles. They don't bother me at all. Not at all. Because of my story. And I'll tell you my story. It's real quick then we'll react to his Fear of Needles. Anyway, uh, when I was like 22, 23, uh, I started having eye problems in my left eye. So I went to the eye doctor. They didn't know what was going on. They sent me to a specialist. They didn't know what was going on. They sent me to another specialist, and they're like, what? They're basically, they're basically telling me, uh, well, you could have this problem, this problem. You could have a tumor. You could, be, you could have MS. Uh, you're probably going to go blind if you don't do anything in that eye. And that is a scary thing to hear. You know what I'm saying? So they sent me to this other specialist. And I get in there and I'm looking around. And it's all, all older people. Like I'm 22, 23. I can't remember exactly what age. But in that age range. And I'm looking around. All these people are like 60, 70. I'm like... Well, this gives me a creepy feeling because I'm the only one my age here. This must be some serious stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, and then I hear, I overhear people talking about how they're getting these shots in the eyeball. I'm like, oh my gosh. What? Shots in the eyeball? I, I'm not getting a shot in my eyeball. Screw that. Like, I did have a fear then of that. Like, who wants to see a needle jammed in their eye? Not me. So I go do the x-ray, that's why I'm there for. They they shoot me up in ink, it goes up to your head, they x-ray you, and it x-rays your eye, and it's leaking blood inside my eye. And the doctor's like, You got you got two options. These are your options. I'm like, well this these options are gonna suck, I'm sure. Like they're not gonna be good. The first option is go blind. I'm like, that, I'm throwing that one out the water. Yeah, uh, what's option two? Whatever it is, that's what I want. Because who wants to go blind in their eye at any point in life, especially when you're young, you know, any, or old. You don't want to go blind. So that's not even an option to me. Option two is you get a series of shots of your, in your eye, and this stuff they're shooting in your eyes is not even made for your eye. It's experimental. So I'm like, dang. Go blind, or get a shot in the eye, and it may or may not work, and the stuff they're shooting in your eye isn't even made for your eye. Like, which one do you choose? Well, I don't want to go blind, so let's experimental shoot stuff in my eye. Let's do that. Yeah, that's the one I want. Anyway, so that's the one I choose, and they're like, well, we're going to do the first one. I had to do two. The first one's today. I'm like, today? They're like, yeah, because... If the blood reaches your your the center of your eye, you're gonna go blind. I'm like, well, let's do it. So they strap, they don't strap me, but they lay me on this table. I'm looking up at the light. They rub some stuff in my eye to kind of kind of numb, numbs it a little bit, but not really. I, I don't know how to explain it. And uh, they put this clamp in your eye, and you're like this. Um, and I'm looking at the light. Boom! You can see, and they they want you to look to the side. They're gonna shoot you with a needle in the white part of your eye. So you got to kind of look to the side, you see the, and it's like a full size needle that they put in your arm. It's, you can see it coming, you want to look at it, but you don't want to look at it, because if you look at it, they might hit you the wrong part, they might hit your pupil, and you might go blind from that. They stick me in my eye, and guess what happens? Vision in both eyes just go out completely. They didn't tell me that was a side effect when they stick a needle in your eyeball it changes the pressure in both eyes and you can go blind for a little bit so i was freaking out i was looking at the light and all of a sudden i couldn't see the light i couldn't see anything i'm like what is going on are you kidding me i was freaking out i, was, I thought they blinded me i was, i was literally freaking out I, I was too scared to be mad and they're like oh by the way we forgot to tell you we forgot to tell you that could be a side effect well thanks for telling me you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I came back, got the second shot. I reminded them, hey, is this going to happen again? Am I, am I, am I going to go blind for a couple minutes? They're like, yeah, it, it could be. So this is what we'll do. We'll stick the needle in slowly, leave it in there 10 seconds, and then pull it out. I'm like, that sounds horrible. Let's do it. They did it. Still went blind for a couple minutes. Vision came back. Uh, fixed, fixed my problem. Uh, I still have a little bitty blind spot to the side if I close my right eye I can see it in my left eye but other than that it helps so that's why I don't have a fear of needles so I, I went a little long but let's check out his fear of needles let's do this so I don't actually have a fear of needles or injections 
He don't have a fear of needles. The title itself may have been a little bit misleading, and so was the thumbnail, but now you're here. I'm going to tell you... Clickbait! ...where I've seen the fear of needles firsthand. Okay. My son has a fear of needles. Have thought about any fears of needles? <coughs> and surprisingly, not many of you actually have that fear. I think the worst thing about needles isn't actually the injection itself, but the fear of imminent needle stabbage. I this guess for simply kids? Tenfold worse when you're with your peers Look school. scary, I guess? If the entire class is getting an injection for whatever reason, people always start rumors or they just make it worse out than it actually is. Hey, hey guys, I just had the injection. It was so bad. The nurse pulled out this huge needle and it had like six points at the end, which were all razor sharp. <laughs> no, it and didn't. It you, it <laughs> stabbed you multiple times. Damn, it just <laughs> tore my arm off. That's a nightmare. <laughs> So why do you just have I to get hiccups? I I um the show. The worst <laughs> part about injections for me wasn't the actual needle itself, but the fact that the prick on your arm afterwards was very sensitive. Can be in a class like mine, all the boys would just go around punching each other afterwards. And you knew if somebody punched you where you had your injection, oh, it hurt a lot. Extreme pain. Hey, tank bank, think fast. No! Ouch. I remember one time we must have been about seven or eight years old. We had to have an injection for what I believe was meningitis. I think, honestly, I don't remember. There's a lot of shots we when you're young. Up in one big long line and just watch one by one as students walked out of the nurse's office, <laughs> crying, building, spreading rumors, or just genuinely being unimpressed about the whole thing. Building dispense. Kid, the bully of the class was absolutely terrified. The bully? <laughs> putting on the tough guy image, generally just being a huge jerk to everybody. He don't want to go. This day, we all saw a side of him, which we never Weak? Seen. You're so weak? Absolutely freaked Terrified. out. Terrified. Yep, he straight up pegged me <laughs> out of school and just disappeared. The teachers gave chase, but man, he was running like a bat out <laughs> Block the door. The rest of the day. Block the door. The where we saw him getting carried back into the office, <laughs> white as a sheet. He didn't stop the arm punching, however, so that was just a given. Right. I just thought I'd share that story because it was quite funny. I think it's, it's quite a funny. Example of showing that bullies are just as insecure as the rest of us. More, time, even more, they are. Bullies. That's why they're bullies. It's something you should totally do, by the way. And they just lie you down, hooked up with a bag that collects blood slowly over time. And then they give you some so cookies, you there, and juice, fills up, usually. And then you can leave. However. The first time I went and did it, I was laid there for hardly any time at all, and then they just simply unhooked me. Uh -oh. Apparently, I was done. There, sir, you're done. You can now leave. I was only laid down for a couple of mi- Oh. It's full. The bag is full. Yeah. Of my blood. We don't, don't want to overdo it. That my blood is bad. very thin, and that's why it was so easy to extract. I fear that in the future, if <laughs> I ever had a heavy wound for whatever reason, you I bleed easy. You know, don't well, bleed out, man. I hope that never happens to me. <laughs> right? Huh. My dad told me the first time that he went to go donate blood. He was warned not to get up straight away <laughs> because he had so much blood taken out of him so quickly. He didn't listen. He shot up so confident that he could just stride out. <laughs> he then collapsed and hit his head on the cabinet. No, oh, no. No. Sounds of it. Oh, I hope you didn't get hurt. If you've never donated blood before, I highly recommend that you do. It's such a satisfying experience, so I'd certainly, if you can, at least give it a try. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and be sure to stick around. Hit his subscribe button. Things. But anyway, that, that uh, he doesn't have a fear of needles, that's awesome. I'm so glad the bully was scared. They need to be scared. I hate bullies, and I hope you hate bullies too. I think that's something we can agree on that we should hate. We should hate, hate people that bully. Uh, bullies do nothing for nobody, so the bully got what the bully deserved, right? Anyway, my son Parker. Some of you know Parker from our live cast and some of our reaction videos. He's terrified of uh, needles, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. But you heard my story. You heard his story. The animation. And this one was getting better compared to the ones earlier, so I love that. I absolutely love the stories. I highly recommend subscribing to Think Tank. Think Tank? No, that's not Tank Bank. Think Tank. Oh. 
You know what I mean. Now my, my, my words are all Swiss. Anyway, subscribe to him. Let's support him as our MRA Army. And if you're not part of the MRA, MRA Army, hit the subscribe button. Become part of the MRA Army. Max Reaction Army. And next time you choose a reaction, choose a Max Reaction. Because we're best in the world, baby. Peace.